Hey, how's it going, everybody? Happy New Year, almost. It is New Year's Eve, Friday, December 31st, 2021. I hope you all have a great New Year's Eve, a lucrative one, and a safe one. And I'm going to talk about the New Year's Eve clash, the early game in the college football semifinals between Cincinnati and Alabama in just a moment. Big card in football. It all starts today, goes through Tuesday. College football and NFL, seven plays in all, including my eight-star bowl game of the year, including a top high-end play from Sunday. NFL. All seven plays available on my homepage at DocSports.com and the card kicks off on Friday so you can check that out. By the way, last year uh, we hit with Iowa State over Oregon in the bowl, with the bowl game of the year and my 25 years in this business we are 18-6-1 with our college football bowl games of the year. So jump on board if you wish. Seven plays in all college of pro football led by that eight-star college football bowl game of the year. Also wanted to mention that uh, my six-star last night was a top play in the NBA and unfortunately it got postponed. It was Golden State and the thing is I, I like the Warriors whether Denver was 100% healthy or not. Obviously they weren't. They ended up canceling or postponing the game late Friday, excuse me, late Thursday afternoon but I was really bummed because I, I would have been on Golden State just as big if Denver would have been 100% healthy. It wasn't based on the COVID situation. So uh, we are back with the NBA on Friday. We're on a 37-23 and 23 run since October 21st. That is a 60 62% run up over $4,100. It's a five star on Friday in the NBA tonight, so you can jump on board that if you would like. And also NHL on Friday. I lost an overtime last night with the underdog Canucks, a shootout we lost in, but uh, we are right back on Friday. 27 and 14 is the correct run. And again, the star of the show for me is, of course, the eight star bowl game of the year, part of the seven plays college football NFL package over the next few days. Let's get to the free play. It is Cincinnati taking on Alabama this line now. Uh, I'm looking at the clock here, and it's about almost 3 a.m. Eastern, almost midnight Pacific time, uh, Friday morning, late Thursday night out here on the West Coast. And the line has been bumped to 14 in a lot of joints just in the last hour or so before cutting this particular video. And while I think Alabama in the first half is a solid play, it has been bumped to seven and a half in a few books. That's not the official free play. My official free play is the under, which sits at 57 and a half, just about everywhere. Looking at my line service, there's uh, 20 books or so. And uh, again, we like it under 57 and a half. If you can still find some sevens, maybe you have to lay a little bit of juice on the uh, first half with Bama. I get it. I do like that. Uh, listen, as far as this game is concerned, I don't think you're going to see these two teams flying up and down the field. I mean, since Cincinnati is top three in both red zone efficiency and pass efficiency defense. Uh, both of those categories on the defensive side of the football, uh, they're number one and one. They're like top, they're third in the other. And it's a situation where I don't think their offense is going to be able to do much against Alabama, but I also think Bama's not going to be pumping out a ton of points throughout the course of this game against a decent Bearcats defense that played well in the win at South Bend earlier this year. And don't forget, they were in a bowl game last year against Georgia. They almost beat them. They lost 24. 21, a last second field goal by the Bulldogs, and uh, since he was leading that game at one point in the fourth quarter. So, again, if you can find seven, I do like that. Alabama first half minus seven, but I think it's going to be seven and a half by the time most of you guys watch this video. So, the official free play is under 57 and a half, Alabama Crimson Tide and the Cincinnati Bearcats. And don't forget, again, seven plays in college football. It starts with a four-star play on Friday. Uh, we've got an eight-star game of the year in Involved in this week's package plus Sunday's top play in the NFL, all available on my homepage at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put them in the win column, everybody.